guys, Talkie Sugi here. Gonna show off a few of my gear designs here today and also show you what program I use and what technique, my half ass technique to get these gear designs. So, I'm not the best artist, guys, so fair warning, I'm not that great at this, but uh, this could be a good technique for some people who might actually be good at it. Uh, so, this is my first cosplay. This I do like cosplays, that's my thing. Uh, so I tried to make Wes Wesker from Resident Evil as best I could without his trench coat. I tried to use the sapper armor here, and I it didn't turn out too too well. But you know, I, I think it's fair. You know, the the face style and the hairstyle helps a little bit, I guess. <laughs> so moving on, that's uh, I've did two more designs, and one of these is also new. Let's see, I'm looking for my engineer helmet. So I've used an engineer helmet and also pro wrestler armor. And I tried to recreate the biker from Hotline Miami, pretty much. Um, of course, it's not 100% accurate because, you know, it's hard to get that kind of detail. Uh, you know, he has, a, like, a closed vest and a white t-shirt. But I did my best on the skull on the back. I think the skull came out pretty good. Um, it was hard to actually get that skull on there. I had to actually hand draw a little bit of it. And I tried to put a few blood stains on the, um, on the light blue kind of teal aqua helmet. And the helmet does have some imperfections, uh, but, you know, at a distance, you can't hardly notice them too much unless you have, like, a keen eye. And the jeans. The jeans probably could have been a little bit better. I was a little, a little bit sloppy with the jeans. I, I was just thinking that they'd turn out a little bit better than that, uh, a little darker, but whatever. Uh, so I did my best on that one, and you've probably seen my last one. I'm going to go ahead and change up my face style and hairstyle for this one. Uh, you probably seen my last one, which is doopy doopy doo. I used the Kyo armor, and I basically tried to reskin the Kyo armor as his ordinary uh, black uh, leather jacket and jeans look, uh, not the Ness style, but the original style. And I think this one turned out really good. Um, the sh shoes turned out really good. Uh, the little shirt there, I think that turned out pretty good as well. Uh, jeans didn't turn out as good as I liked them, but uh, they, they're okay. They didn't turn out too, too, too bad. And the coat's a little dark at a distance, but you can make some, out some details up really close. I probably could have used a few more buttons on them, but I digress. So I feel like all that com came out pretty good. Um, I'm kind of happy with it, so... Uh, you can see my audio settings there. I was trying to fix my microphone prior to doing this. Uh, so this is what I use, paint.net. You can get it from this website here, getpaint.net. And I'll put these links in the description. Uh, so also if you get this program, you might want to go with some plugin packs, like Pyro Child's plugin packs. I'll link this as well. Uh, this has stuff like smudge and uh, outline and all kinds of good stuff in that. And also one more plugin. I use the photo, photo flood fill-in for... Uh, another plugin. I'll link that as well. Uh, so this is the program I use. Uh, <laughs> I made this little intro to the to uh, the video here. You probably see that. But otherwise, you know, I've done this with the Hotline Miami skin. I did this today. So I've used like inspirational photos. Uh, I wouldn't call them inspirational really. Uh, but kind of like um, getting an idea of what he looks like a little bit. You know, of course it's not 100% accurate. This vest is supposed to be uh, like locked up and you're supposed to have a t-shirt on but I do something like this I'll take like the selection box and select something the random piece of a photo and cut it out with central X and I'll undo that in case I need to do it again uh, and then I'll go to like the template which is this is a pro wrestler template which is what I was using the armor and then I'll put, put paste that on there and then I'll like put this and line it up to the slot and sometimes you might have to work with the slots themselves to, in order to really line them up. But that's the general gist of what I do. It's really half-assed. But it can turn out to make some really good skins. But, uh, you know, you could probably do a lot better than that. And uh, this is just what I do. I'm not a good artist. <laughs> but I do like designs, and I don't like to have to ask all the time for people who are good at them to do them. Uh, like Kimmy and stuff, so uh, be sure to check out Kimmy and Don's video on this kind of stuff as well. I think they both have videos on gear designing, which are probably much better than what I'm offering you here. <laughs> uh, but people have asked me to do this, so uh, using the effects as well. You know, I did the skull here. I had to hand draw the skull just a little bit um, to do like these little pieces of the skull, or in general, like specific places you might want to fill in. Uh, you can kind of select a little circle like and then you can use that plugin I linked you the photo flood fill 
and you'll select it like uh, you know you can sh select something random and it'll turn out with the image otherwise you know let me go ahead and uh, go into my uh, textures here and you can see I saved this little piece that I copied out like I put it right up here uh, so I'll select that piece and that'll fill in with that image I selected so you do need that plugin if you want to do that kind of thing and it gives that like see-through look so you might want to do something like that to uh, save a piece of your image before you draw on top of it or paste on top of it then you can fill it in again to make it have that see-through effect that's one way to do that I'm sure there's advanced other ways to do it <laughs> uh, but that's the way I do this guys so um, you know there's plenty of um, nice stuff with paint.net to work with like the smudge tool and with the plugin pack of course and it generally gives you pretty good quality when you save images with this program it resizes at pretty good quality uh, but yeah that's my technique guys you know you can see I did a few things here and there those, those are the boots in the in the boots where I pasted <laughs> with the attack on titan little image there I put those right there on the boots uh, so yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you can come up with something more professional than what I do. Again, watch Kimmy or Don's videos. I'm sure they're pretty good at this kind of thing. Uh, but you know, if you're a really simple kind of artist like I am, you know, this might be the technique for you. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next video.